Oh my god, this lighting is really unattractive. Damn. You look like my mom. Okay, let's just do it. Hola, mi bella gente. So, on today's episode of Greta Films, at 6 p.m. when it's dark as fuck outside, welcome. are gonna be talking about women like me and maybe if you're watching this video maybe you're a woman like me as well and I'm talking about petite women so that's me and I don't really know what the definition of petite is actually let me look it up <laughs> let's look it up okay petite adjective of a woman attractively small and dainty she was petite and vivacious how short do you have to be to be petite? Okay, so some women could be over 5'4", but still find petite sizing pants fit them better if they have short legs and long torso. There are also petite women well under 5'4", but are blessed with longer legs and wear inseam of over 30 inches. So I guess petite really isn't like a specific defined category. I guess it depends on the clothes that you buy, the clothes that you find more comfortable for yourself. But I consider myself petite. I am like five, two and a half, five, three on a good day. <laughs> and my doctor tells me something different every single time I go in to get my checkup. So I don't know. So in the past, I actually was really insecure about being petite. So when I was like 14, 15, I would always see articles on how to not look petite. I took that as being petite is a bad thing. I thought it was bad. I thought if you're petite, it means that you're pudgy. It means that you're just a dwarf. It means you're like not attractive until I realized that girl, you can be petite, you can be small and you can still look sexy. You can still look voluptuous. You can still look like a model. You can still look bomb as you don't need to be 5'7", you don't need to be 5'9", to look lean, to look long. And I've realized that a lot of it has to do with how you dress yourself. So, so I thought today in this horrible lighting, I would bring to you my different tips and tricks on how I dress my petite frame. Okay, vamonos, orale. Que empieza la fiesta. So, my first and probably my favorite tip that I have ever for petite women, especially for fall winter time, is high waisted everything. So, high waisted jeans, high waisted skirts, all of the high waisted stuff that you can find buy it <laughs> because I feel like it's so flattering on women that are petite like myself it looks great on tall women as well and all women in general I feel like high-waisted looks so good but there's something about high-waisted things the fact that it falls right at your waist it kind of cinches your waist in without being too obvious and it kind of gives you like that hourglass shape without even having to try and I love it it makes your legs look longer it makes your butt look like juicy and voluptuous and just perfectly shaped I don't even know what it is about high-waisted stuff but it looks so good and I have been living in my high-waisted jeans that I actually recently picked up from Urban Outfitters uh, I'm in love I I'm literally in I am in love. I, I cannot imagine my life without these jeans. And particularly, I love to wear my high waisted jeans with something that's very fitted at the top. And since we're in the fall and winter time right now, I've been obsessed with tucking in like a tighter turtleneck type of situation in my jeans. I think it's so cute, it's so flattering, and I don't know, I just really like it. So being really fitted at the top and then the bottom being a little bit baggier, being a little bit more loose with your high-waisted mom jeans, I just think that is really flattering, that streamlines your body, doesn't make you look pudgy, 
it just makes you look really freaking good okay now this is kind of like the inverse of my last tip is to wear something kind of baggy at the top but something fitted at the bottom so a great 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 example of this is the beloved ariana grande she is known for her very 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 huge and baggy clothes she is like every photo that i see of her or see her take she's wearing like a really big baggy like sweatshirt or a really big baggy shirt and then she's known for wearing her really tight fitted knee-high boots if you didn't know ariana is also a petite lady like is <laughs> She is like five, I think she's like five foot. She's really, really tiny. And I feel like it looks so good on her. Like you wouldn't expect for something like super baggy, like super big on top to be flattering. But I think that the fact that she balances out the really baggy top with her more fitted knee high boots, I feel like it just works. So let me show you my take on this entire look. So I wore this like baggier, not fitted at all dress and it's really cute. I think I got it from Target. I will correct myself if I'm wrong, post-production Greta, do your research. But it's really cute. It's just like this really baggy, not fitted white dress. And then underneath I'm wearing more fitted uh, knee-high boots. Mine don't have a heel because <laughs> It's really really cute before I honestly would not think about wearing something like this But I just feel like not fitted at the top and very fitted at the bottom is just like a really good way to balance it out And I just think it's so cute like I think it's extra cute if you're petite because the bagginess just makes you look really comfy and cozy like every time I see Ari with like a very huge comfy cozy sweatshirt that's like too big for her I just like want to give her a hug okay so another tip that I have for you petite ladies out there is streamlined clothes so I kind of already touched on this when I talked about my high-waisted mom jeans but now I'm talking more so about long pieces of clothing but what I'm talking about are like long skirts. So basically my take on this little petite fashion tip is to wear my pleated long skirt. Now on the typical, maybe like five, six woman, this is more of like a midi skirt. But for me, it's almost like a maxi skirt. So basically if you go out and find a midi skirt, it basically turns into your own version of a maxi skirt. <laughs> and I love pairing this with some boots, especially in the winter time. I love pairing it with some like cute boots. Here I'm wearing my my sock boots which I am obsessed <laughs> I am so obsessed with these boots oh my god they're so cute they're like the Balenciagas the ones that look like socks like I told you guys earlier wearing something more fitted on the top just kind of makes you look slimmer makes it more streamlined and because the pleats go like straight down it kind of like makes the eye go from top to bottom so it just makes you look taller in general you know a mini skirt on a normal woman it's probably just a mini skirt but on us on the sisters that are petite it's more of a maxi skirt so that way you know i just stopped looking for maxi things because it's just not going to fit me so i just look for midi things and it fits perfectly this kind of goes into my next tip but you can leave this outfit as it is if it's not too cold but if it's a little chilly you can throw on a long coat okay oh my god i've been so obsessed with long coats this season like I, I just can't stop buying them. Like I bought two that look literally identical. Like one is from H&M and one is from Mango. They look actually identical, but I just needed them both because they each had like something that the other didn't. I, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm a coat hoe. I'm a long coat hoe. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I've been loving wearing long coats. I feel like long coats are amazing. The key though is to find a long coat that isn't too baggy on you. If it's too baggy on you, unless if you're trying to go for that look, I feel like it might not be as flattering. I know there's some things that you can buy like the oversized sweatshirt that you can wear to dress type of situation that I was talking about earlier. I feel like that's fine. But when it comes to long coats, you don't want it to look like it's swallowing you up, especially as a petite as a petite lady, okay? You need to be careful about that. So I would highly recommend, obviously, finding one that fits, but finding one that's a little bit tighter maybe, obviously not 
so tight that you can't move or bend over, you know, where you have to just like walk like this all the time. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> so I've been trying to size down a little bit so that it looks a little bit more fitted, it's more flattering. But yeah, long coats, especially with a long midi skirt, oh my god, girl. Girl, you just look so put together. You look so lean, you look so long, you look so sexy. So you can either go for like a more fun checkered type of long coat, or you can go for one that's just a solid color, basically whatever you're feeling. I think both are really, really flattering. So if you wanna step up the flattering scale a little bit more than it already is, then find yourself a long coat that has a belt girl it just really complements your shape whatever type of petite lady you are if you're curvier if you're smaller whatever you are one of my last tips that i have for you is all black i think it's so flattering i think if you go for some black jeans with like a black top and maybe even like black boots girl girl you look like someone needs to take you out to dinner, okay? It just looks so good. Or it looks like you need like a glass of wine. Again, it really streamlines your body. It makes you look not pudgy. It makes you look leaner. It makes you look just, ah, uh, it's so, so good. I love it. I just think it's such a great look, especially in the winter and the fall season. I love wearing all black outfits. I think it's really cute. You can definitely wear this in the daytime. Can you tell my legs are really hurting? Like my leg fell asleep. And I found being petite, you can really play with colors like that. You can play with wearing all black, all white, all red outfits. I don't even know what it is. I feel like there's not enough body surface for you to look tacky. And I really like accessorizing black outfits. I think that's so fun because everything is so very like muted. It's very classy. And then you can just be like, bam, you can wear some like cute, big round earrings or like a bold red lip or something it's just it's really cute i love it okay so those are basically all of my tips that i can think of right now on the spot <laughs> actually it's i definitely plan that out um yeah so i hope that if you are a petite lady like i am don't feel bad about it like I don't know if that was just an insecurity that I have. I don't know if others, there's probably there are other women out there that feel insecure about being smaller, that don't feel like a woman, that don't feel beautiful, that don't feel sexy, but you can definitely work with your body type no matter what type of body type you are. Even if you're not petite and you're still watching this video, thank you. <laughs> That's literally all it's about. It's just knowing what's flattering, knowing what works for your body type, and then you're good to go. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And please let me know what you want to see. If there's any more style videos that you would like to see, that's literally what I love. There's nothing I love more than fashion. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a beautiful day. And yeah, I love you. Te amo. Un beso. Bye. Adios. <laughs>